Tell us, I guess, like about like uh, how you got into speed running to begin with. Yeah, um, I, got, I was in a relationship for like seven years. So we broke up. I didn't really have anything going on in my life, and I just decided, okay, what are the things that make me happy? I really like music. I really like retro video games. So I started to develop things in both areas, and uh, I came across speed running. I saw some early GDQ videos of PJ and uh Fiesel, uh funk doc sinister one and all these guys and i started watching twitch streams and just like ingesting information about who the best players were um and it just got me it got a fire in me to like just be better so i just spent i spent an entire year just playing nes games like offline like every single day i would devote at least four hours per day i did that for a whole year wow just like getting better learning like stuff because it's a lot of stuff to take in so little tricks here and there yeah yep so i did that for a year and then i rented a studio moved all my game stuff there and just started working on records and the first two that i got were uh, princess tomato and the salad kingdom which is a (laughs) a point and click adventure game on the nes that i had as a kid and then kung fu heroes which is a like a top down beat-em-up that uh, me and my cousin used to play so i got those two records and just catapulted from there yeah it's kind of funny like when i was looking back at the history of speed running i was surprised uh where it actually began um it began with doom uh, when it released like in december 93 there was the ability to record demo files of playthroughs oh, wow. and i guess about like within a few months like uh, after a website was uh, founded by a christina strunoff norman uh the lmp hall of fame people just started coming in with speed runs and like ever since like it's really picked up steam over the like over the last couple of decades past that and now like you know it's amazing like what games normally considered just for normal play can be adapted into speed running material. Like I wouldn't think for a minute I could speed run princess tomato in the salad kingdom. Like <laughs> I, I, I normally, I just like sit there. Oh, vegetables you know that sort of thing so uh, <laughs> it's kind of amazing like how much it's evolved how people like make competitions even something like just playing super mario brothers against each other on four different monitors becomes like this enthralling race of who can complete it the fastest awesome games done quick honestly has done like a really good job in terms of like i don't know just bringing the speed running community i guess to the mainstream in a lot of ways i mean like i you know i, I would like see that like in like mainstream news honestly as you know as far as like how much like money that they raise and all that that's usually kind of the focus of their stories uh, but in terms of like getting like these old school games like back in the forefront and like people who like remember them like see them in, in like a different way, it's just, it's just really really cool like what they're doing with that. 